the frame leader generator found in Dashwood Editor Essentials is probably the simplest generator or plugin uh, found in the whole suite, but uh, still very important. To find it, just go to Generators. And uh, today I'm in Final Cut Pro 10, but it works just the same in Premiere Pro, After Effects, Apple Motion, or Final Cut Pro 7. Uh, so here it is, Frame Leader, and I'm just going to throw it in the beginning of our sequence here. And you can make it, of course, any length you want. Now it has very simple controls, but the first thing you have to do is go over here to the inspector and click on Generator to reveal the controls. So uh, basically we have crop area, and uh, for example, if I pick uh, 239 to 1 letterbox, that'll show the crop area. And then we also can enable these green lines, which, you know, you would normally just use for um, a safe area that you know, you're protected for. Um, or maybe you only want to use the lines. Uh, now we also have text, and we can turn the text on and off. I would normally prefer to just leave the text off. Uh, it's mostly there just to check that uh, you know you're actually using the right settings. And these colors can be changed to anything you want. So let's say you don't want green, and instead you'd like blue. That's easy enough to change. And uh, we even have a setting here for um, anamorphic. So if your footage was shot in the Area Alexa Studio or the, or the uh, Alexa M in 4x3, and uh, you want to put the anamorphic frame guides on, then you can do that as well. And uh, that's just so you know that that's supposed to be cropped out. And of course, we have all the exact same aspect ratios that are found in our letterbox, pillar box um, plugin. And, you know, everything from 4x3 all the way up to Cinerama. 2.59 to 1.